What's up everyone, it's Ben here and welcome to a week in the life of an MBA student, Rare Liquid Edition. Time to vlog. So I'm headed to my personal training session right now. I have a new year's resolution for this year to be in the best shape of my life by the time I'm 30. Shout out to Allison, my friend, for coming up with that goal in the first place. And yeah, you'll see some clips of me working out, I guess. Okay, so I'm about to enter my first class, but I'm super, super late right now. Sorry, professor, if you're watching this. This is the first time I've been to eat food and I've been to eat food. Hi, Bella. Hi, Bella. Hi, Bella. Hi, Bella. Hi, Bella. Hi, Bella. I bumped into two of my friends at the food trucks. Check out the Philly food. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the And the handsome men. Special. And women. <laughs> oh, wow, May. What's this building? An undergrad. <laughs> I live here undergrad. Good to meet you. Hey Ben, what are you doing? Checking my inbox and messages. Is this one What are you guys up to? What did you eat? Vietnamese. Same. Good? Yeah, it was good. Very good. Lots of rice. Okay, walking home with my friend Sunny. What did you learn in class today, Sunny? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Investment banking gets really hyped in the news, but most bankers actually want to leave and enter into a field called private equity, and that's the topic of today's video. All right, so it's around 11 a.m. and I slept in because I slept around three yesterday and I love sleeping and I can sleep. I, I try to sleep in whenever I can. Um, don't have class until around 1.45 p.m. today. So usually when I wake up, I have my phone in the other room, but I usually take it back to my bed and then I uh, clear my inbox. I uh, usually wake up to around 30 emails. So I'll take like five to 10 minutes or so to go through those. Uh, but yeah, with that said, let's start day number two. Firing up a quick lunch before I meet my friend to catch up. It's just some Korean food I had as leftovers from yesterday's dinner. I'm with my friend Jackie. We just caught up for a coffee break kind of thing. What do we talk about today, Jackie? Well, we talked about the quiz that I failed this morning, um, which is great. We're also talking about things that we're excited for this semester. And for me, I'm particularly excited about Wham Vegas, which is a big Vegas trip we're going to take in March. Here I am, staying hydrated. The most important part of succeeding in your MBA. Yeah, so you call them. how was that class? Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> a awesome. I really enjoyed it. Agree? It was very thought-provoking. I loved how we talked about geopolitical issues. Not your everyday MBA class. <laughs> and there's Bonnie. Hey. I thought I was like 100. How's the free food, Anna? Subpar. <laughs> Alpha, how is it? It is what it is. Okay. <laughs> but Wharton's great otherwise. <laughs> around 10 30 p.m just went to the event that you guys just saw and i was supposed to do a meeting with some friends to work on liquid mba which is the how to get into mba course i'm building with my classmates from morton but we ended up just walking back home and then discussing on the way back home instead and now i'm at my apartment and i'm just gonna do a bit more work and then head to bed 
So I came home and took a shower and the video I was working on yesterday was fully edited. So I reviewed it for about 10 minutes, gave a few comments to my editor and making some adjustments to the description now and then it'll be ready to be published tomorrow. So it's around midnight, but my kitchen was super dirty. So I felt like I needed to clean it. Just did the dishes or at least put them in the dishwasher. Now I'm gonna clean up my, what do you call this? Like uh, grill area. Um, so yeah. Doing after that, I'm probably gonna go to sleep. It's been a pretty long, but also productive day. Did a lot of socializing, did some classes, did a little bit of work, um, and probably gonna sleep really quickly when I hit the bed. Now, before moving on to the next day, if you guys are watching this video because you're interested in getting into a top MBA program yourself, then one roadblock that you may have faced like I did was studying for the GMAT and getting a good score. And so one resource I highly, highly recommend is Target Test Prep, also known as TTP. I credit TTP a lot for helping me get a 750 on the GMAT. Wow. And when I was doing research into looking into the best resources, TTP is what kept popping up on Reddit. And what I really like about it is that it takes a topic by topic approach that allows you to master every single type of question that is asked on the GMAT. Here's how it works. For both quant and verbal, TTP breaks down all of the individual topics that appear on the GMAT and with them come lessons and practice tests ranging from easy, medium to hard that lets you hone your skills and master every topic. TTP is a one-stop shop that covers both quant and verbal sections on the GMAT and it's the only company on GMAT Club with a triple digit five-star rating. If any of this sounds interesting to you, you can check out TTP for five days for just $1 if you use my link down in the description below. With that said, let's move on to the next day. What's up everyone, it's day number three and I couldn't really sleep well late yesterday. I had a lot, go a lot of thoughts going on in my head and so I ended up sleeping around like 2.30 a.m. just like tossing and turning a bit. Right now, woke up at around 8.30 and then scrolled on my phone for a bit and now it's around 9 a.m. Ready to start the day. It's gonna be a long day. I think I'm gonna wanna take a nap at some point, but I'm gonna be out throughout most of the day and night as you guys will all see. Here's also the current state of my apartment right now. I feel like no matter how many times I clean it, it always ends up getting a little bit messy. So definitely we'll need to clean it up later today. Made it to the gym. Usually don't really wake up wanting to go, but I'm too damn skinny, so. Gotta get into the best shape of my life by the time I'm 30 this July. And so here we go. Headed to Korean class right now. Running a little bit late again. Uh, it's gonna be an hour and a half long class or so where we talk about our readings and teacher asks us some questions in Korean and stuff like that. Oh yeah, me too. Say hi, Jenny. Future WKC president. <laughs> On a break right now. What did we learn in class today, Chad? Um, we learned about how to confront ethical dilemmas, and that most people are actually pretty reasonable here in this classroom. All right. So just got home. It's around 6:30 p.m. Just finished up a class. Uh, for legal studies and we're kind of just discussing a variety of ethical and legal concerns in the business world. Uh, usually the lecture is around three hours but we had a final exam as well so it was a 90 minute exam but I finished it like 30 minutes early so I came home. Actually on the way here I was supposed to take uh, one of the trolleys but then I took the wrong one so I ended up going four streets more than I should have so I stopped by the grocery store now I'm here and I have two events left to go to, believe it or not. Uh, one is dinner with a very close friend from college. And then I have like another like club event that you'll, you guys will see. Um, and I thought it'd also be a good time since I have like a little bit of a break here to answer a question asked by Barry, which was how do I stay motivated managing rare liquid while also everything that I have to balance with school? And I think to me, the answer is pretty clear and easy, which is just that I really enjoy building out Rare Liquid. I actually really love being an entrepreneur. I think I want to be one for the rest of my life. And so whenever I have to do that extra work while also balancing school, it doesn't really drain my energy. Um, there are always things that I don't necessarily want to do for Rare Liquid, but overall, I really, really enjoy building this business out 
So that's honestly, I think the, the key to managing the business along with all the MBA stuff. What is for dinner, Sunny? Uh, I'm making roast chicken and Brussels sprouts and mashed potatoes. Mmm, mm, so good and tasty. All right, so this is my friend Ling and she's my friend here at Wharton and Karen asked a question about what is one of the biggest things you learned at your time at Wharton so far, so Ling? Yeah, so I think one of the biggest things I learned here so far is that it's all about balance and taking things slow. Definitely prioritize yourself, make sure you get a lot of exercise and take time to recharge because there will be social events literally packing your calendar every single night of the week. And you have to take care of pebbles. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, this is my friend Stephanie and Stefan. <laughs> and they're gonna share one thing they learned from their experience so far. Go first. Stefan, go, go first. I go first? Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. I think one thing I learned is... Um... <laughs> don't be afraid to bet on yourself and don't be afraid to trust others. Okay. Oh. Stephanie? There is no right answer. Um, and what you do after graduation doesn't matter. Oh. Okay, so I rolled out of bed. It's day number four and I ended up coming home yesterday around 2.30 a.m. or so and woke up around 10.30. I actually completely missed my personal training session, uh, but whatever. Um, I'm not gonna go to, gym, to the gym today though because I'm too tired. And later on what I have for the rest of the day is I have a lunch coming up with a friend and then an event called Follies. Uh, which is where the entire student body kind of gets roasted and there's this big performance It should be pretty fun and there's an after party um, I forgot to mention also in between I don't have any classes So I'm just gonna be working on rare liquid stuff all day All right, so I'm with my friend Kelly and we got a question about how often do MBA students Fall or get into existential crises. What do you think Kelly? <laughs> well, I'm in one right now, but I'm thankful for all my friends and family to support me. Oh we headed Follies. <laughs> I'm just an old man in blue camouflage pants. <laughs> It's day number five, Friday, and first off, wanted to just give a huge shout out to Megan Burton. You absolutely crushed it at Follies, which I thought was one of the best events of the year. Super fun and funny. And after the event, I ended up going to the after party, which was at Warrior Club, nightclub. Um, and we stayed there until, until, until around 3 a.m. and then had an after after party at my place with around six or seven people. Just chilled and chatted until like 6 a.m. And now it's 12, 15 p.m. I have a lunch coming up that I need to get ready for soon actually. And then I'm gonna work on Rare Liquid and then have a dinner. Um, and I'm gonna probably take it pretty easy this weekend because it's been a lot of like socializing, going out, um, stuff like that. So uh, yeah, that's, that's the rest of the week. Just came back from my lunch and my place is a huge mess, so gonna have to clean it. Day number six, woke up super late at around 1.30 p.m. I am a bit of a night owl, so after dinner, I came home and just was watching YouTube, did a little bit of work. And uh, I was on my bed scrolling on my phone for a bit and then ordered a banh mi for lunch. 
And uh, today I just have a dinner, um, have a lot of work to catch up on. So I'm gonna be working throughout most of the day. After dinner, when I come back, just gonna be working. So today I hope, I'm hoping it's gonna be a pretty productive day. All right, so we're at Jason's dinner party and we're gonna be describing Wharton's, the experience so far in one word, starting with Charles. Oh my God, it's stimulating. Jessica. Roller coaster. Jason. Reflective. Sabrina. Intentional. Tasha. Dang. <laughs> Ed. Layered. Okay. Ooh. 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 All right, it's day number seven now, final day of vlogging this week. And I got up at around 1 p.m. today, really lazy Sunday, I'm about to eat lunch right now, get some work done, clean up my apartment, and then I'm hosting a dinner. And then hoping after that, I can get some more work done because I have so much on my plate, it's kind of uh, ridiculous, but that's what we have for today. Up. So I'm at H Mart right now getting all the groceries for some Korean barbecue tonight with four friends and it should be a pretty good time. Here's all the meat and other food. Alright, so I made some kimchi jjigae, which is like kimchi stew and I'm gonna do a first little taste test before the guests arrive. Pretty dank. All right, so that concludes the video. Hope you all enjoyed. It was a really hectic week. Normally my weeks are not this busy, but I thought this week would be a lot of fun to show you because it was so hectic. And let me know what you guys all thought in the comments down below. I can do another one of these type of vlog week in the life type videos for future weeks if you guys all enjoy. With that said, thank you all so much for watching. Hope to catch you all in the next video. Thanks so much and peace out.